Hi everyone. Over the last few weeks, I've been putting in some uh, effort to expand my garden space, or actually my orchard space to be more specific. Uh, my land here is really rocky, it's really hilly, and I have actually very shallow, poor soils. So I've been building terraces throughout my yard all over the place to get a nice flat spot and uh, get to actually be able to build up some reasonable soil, kind of, kind of like raised beds. But uh, I've got just finished up a third terrace, and I want to show you, show you guys the process and show you how it came out. Here are the two terraces that I've been building. This first one I uh, built a couple years ago. It's a whole bunch of whole bunch of layers built up lasagna style. And as you can see, it's supporting some trees and some bushes quite nicely. It's doing quite well. This top one I didn't have enough material to work on, so uh, I've just now kind of started redoing it. Been uh, putting down some of my wood that's left over from the mill. A lot of the sawdust from the mill. Um, I put in, I don't know, five or six truckloads of leaves just, uh, just this spring. There's some sawdust in there. There's some... Uh, some charcoal from wood fires and so forth, but uh, it's definitely, uh, you know, it's it's really squishy and fluffy right now, so it's absolutely no good for planting on. But uh, after I put a few more layers on, I think it's gonna be all right. I'm gonna start out today by mowing the lawn and uh, putting tons and tons of grass clippings on here. As you can see, I have the trailer here backed up against the hill right in front of the chicken coop. So I'm going to go ahead and muck this thing out. All right, now that I have the grass clippings and the chicken manure kind of raked out, it's a nice little uh, layer added to our little lasagna. Well, the grass is certainly getting tall again. Get another mow, bag this stuff up, and put another layer up there. Okay, I've gone ahead and added that layer of grass clippings up here on the uh, terrace. And this will be my next layer. This is like three quarters complete compost. It's not quite quite done yet, but uh, this wire compost bin is tragic. I need to I need to replace it with something made out of wood. I hate this thing. It's got to go. So I'm gonna put all of this on as a uh, as a layer, and I'll uh, cart it up there on the little trailer. All right. To make this fairly brief, my neighbors over there are using a string trimmer, but I'm uh, slowly adding a layer here. This is my second trailer full. It looks like I'll probably have three to four trailers. So I've got a nice couple inches of uh, almost done compost on top of all this stuff. All right, well that's just about all the compost. It was about five trailers full. This thing's looking pretty good. A couple of inches all over the uh, entire top of it. All right, and last up, I'm gonna hit the old wood chip pile here. Probably get uh, five or six trailers full of chips and spread that over, over the top.
right, there we go. The entire terrace is now covered up with some mulch. There's only about an inch, maybe an inch and a half on there. And I deliberately didn't put it really thick because my intent here is not to stop uh, native plants from coming in. I mean, if you look at this previous terrace I did, I mean, there's a whole bunch of just native weeds and ferns and you got some grass, got some clover, a little bit of vetch growing up over here. I didn't plant any of that stuff. It's just what's colonized here since I put this in. And I'm um, totally, totally want that all to be there. So like I said, I didn't put a whole bunch of chips up here. We'll just kind of let it do its thing. But it does mean we're start we're ready for some plants. So you're probably wondering what does this thing uh, feel like to stand on? I mean, it's only made of leaves and grass clippings and stuff, right? And it is springy, like you would totally imagine it to be for what it is. But uh, it totally firms up over time. The, the uh, terrace down below is much, much firmer. So. All right, I just want to get the, uh, the biology moving in this bed. So I want to, pl want to plant something in it. And I have all these leftover plant starts. It's uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, squashes, and uh, maybe a couple of melons in there. And I'm just going to kind of spread these in here. I don't expect any major success. The soil is not exactly ready yet. And uh, also all the deer are going to come in here and munch on it, but in the very least, I will get something growing. All right, here we go. In my first round, I've got all the uh, cucumbers and melons planted out. Again, I don't expect much success here. We're basically planting into a mulchy, mulchy, not quite soil mess, but, you know, we'll see what happens. All right, there, I've got my tomatoes planted out now. Again, tighter than I would normally plant them, but again, I'm not really expecting much success rate. I mean, this really is just an experiment. Uh, wood chips tend to suck nitrogen from uh, kind of from the soil, so it's not great to grow in, first of all. And then beneath that is some kind of hot compost and some hot grass clippings that might actually burn things. So it's not, not a great medium for me to be growing in, but let's just see what happens. All right, it's been about a week since I've planted. You can see stuff's doing well. It's actually doing a little better than I expected, considering that this is basically uh, a brand new bed that isn't even really technically dirt yet. So we're doing pretty nice, except for, you know, the expected deer damage that I knew was going to happen. But still, we're in fairly good shape overall. All right, as you can see, things are doing pretty well out here in the uh, with the annuals, besides, you know, the obvious deer damage. But uh, now it's time to be going to be time to start collecting some perennials. It's not quite, they're not quite ready yet, but there's a whole bunch of plants going to seed right now in the yard. I've got some clover, some irises, um, columbine, a few other things that are uh, making seed right now. I'm going to collect that when they're uh, when they're all done, and we'll start uh, starting to add some uh, annual stuff for the the eventual little permaculture spot. All right. Well, I've certainly got a little bit of uh, life started in there. We'll get the uh, the biology going. Get a few perennials put in. Uh, some you know some perennial seeds put in this year for some wildflowers and things like that. Pollinators. And then uh, next year, I'll start putting in some bushes and uh, maybe even some trees in the fall. So check back uh, and see see how these things come out. And thanks a lot for watching.